This is Swiss and Chips, your British guide to Switzerland. Hello and welcome to Swiss and Chips. I'm Joe and I'm Simon. And today we're at the Schwarze. We're recording outside on a little outing that we've gone on. So you may hear some sounds of nature or perhaps people, people. walking by. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Seeing as it's quite difficult to record at home nowadays, we thought we're going to record on the go. <laughs> because of our mini-me that's at home, we should say. Yes, exactly. So today is quite a nice day and uh, much colder than expected. It it's always, always is on our excursions. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't that's know why. true. But uh, we just about made it. We had the coffee, so we are good to talk. Yes. And the topic today is? We're talking about the Bayar. The Bayar, yes. B-E-A. Exactly. And it's an annual event that takes place in Bern. Uh, in essence, it's an agricultural fair, but there's a lot more to it than that. Mm, yeah, it's a very traditional thing. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, how do you say, it's for, for companies to show what they're doing. But, Partially, yeah. yes, but it turned it it became bigger and bigger, and then it's many agricultural things to be seen, and then it's also um, adult playthings. How's this called? <laughs> that, that thing. There are that, no adult playthings there. That, that thing there that is on Brighton on the pier there. <laughs> As um, it's called, yeah, uh, amusement rides, <laughs> yes, or something. So there are fairground also, rides, yes. So big wheel and stuff. How's this called, Ezra? The... A Ferris wheel. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I there's know. nothing unseemly at this fair. It's very family friendly. Yes, it is. Yes, absolutely. So it's very traditional. So uh, at least in and around Bern, there are others in Switzerland. Um, there's one in St. Gallen, isn't there? Olma, for That's example. Olma. Yeah. And in Bern, it's very traditional and everyone in and around Bern has at least been once as a child, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, because there is a lot to be seen. Yeah, basically, um, you walk in and you can see the fairground rides from quite far away. So that's one end of it. And there's lots of things to see outside. It's a sort of massive area. Um, and then there's also kind of exhibitions inside that you can look at as well. But outside, the main attraction is loads of animals and it's basically farm animals that you can see. Mm, and they're yeah. in different halls and they're also outside in mini arenas and stuff. Yeah. For example, in one hall, you've got... Um, Loads and loads of cows, kind of yeah. as they would be yeah. out on a farm. Yeah, yeah. Then you have little closed off arenas around them where there are miniature goats in yeah. one climbing all over stuff. And then there's like the pig section outside. There's yeah. a kind of petting zoo, except the animals really come off farms. That's so true. they're not kind of, um, it's not like extremely cuddly rabbits. They're not made for the fair. No. <laughs> yeah. They're actual animals. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, it's by like, the way, really... we forgot to say, mm -hmm. it's why we are talking about this and this special episode is mm -hmm. because it's on at the moment it is yeah and it's on until next weekend today we are recording well, it's on it. until the 8th of may yes and today is the first so hopefully we manage to put the episode out before it's done but we will. if so you will you should go and and have a look otherwise next year is another one yeah <laughs> <laughs> good yeah sorry yeah so if you're going basically you want to have a little look online before you arrive probably to see where you're going to go because it's so big. And we headed into um, Hall 12, which is where the cows are, the goats, the pigs, uh, also the donkeys, it turned out. Yeah, Hall 12, make sure at the entrance to take um, a leaflet with the map, then you can see in which it's not that complicated, but then you can see where is what yeah. animals. And so you can head to the most exciting bit first before your energy dies out, basically, because <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. that it's could well happen. Yeah. Um, Yeah, and they have a horse arena as well, so you can see different kind of not performances, but what's they really are the word for it? Performances, I it's think. Not they like explain a little dancing. bit what they do and so on. Yeah, they're jumping over hurdles and stuff. I'm sure there's a technical word for oh, it. Yeah. We are experts. in horse language. <laughs> in horse language, yeah. <laughs> <But> also, <laughs> also, the donkeys are being walked around in that arena, yeah. and I saw someone yeah. riding a donkey. Yeah. You know, is the you don't is the donkey see that. language? Yes. So there's lots of that to be seen. And, um, language. You can like stroke the animals, they're showing off the horses, but you can also buy animals if you're actually a farmer. Some yeah. of the cows are for sale. Oh, and uh, what's there to be seen? The dogs. The dogs. The dogs are a big hit because our little mini us, our little mini me, baby M, loves dogs. And we thought this was going to be a big hit with her. But because they are really, you know, working animals off the farm, the dogs were a little bit, how can we say? Loud. Loud. They yeah. barked quite loudly when we showed up. Yeah. 
So it's really a good way, I think, for kids to see, oh, these are what, you know, yeah, farm animals also, are really like. Also a, adults. Mm, and it's a good opportunity b- to dress up traditionally. Yes. <laughs> you might have seen it in the pictures of, um, what's the Alp Absug called in English? <laughs> Don't worry, I've got it. <laughs> when Alpine they, go down of the cows. Yeah, when they... Descendant. It's a, another traditional event, which we'll talk about in another episode, where mm. they bring the cows down from the mountain. Mm. And the people who work on the farm and dress up in traditional costumes. Mm. And at this agricultural fair, the Bayar, you can see some people who have brought their animals from the farm. They're wearing their traditional clothing, which yeah. is really nice to it's see. It's a typical event for Swiss people to wear traditional clothing. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a... <laughs> happening it's a nice get together so mm. they dress up yeah mm. and there's also musical performances as well we saw a yodel group there were people playing the uh, the hand organ the normal organ the mouth organ all kinds of organs yeah um, i'm sure there would be also the alphorn alpine horn yeah we didn't see anyone playing the alphorn but for it sure it's a alpine horn no it's called the alphorn oh is it okay yeah that's sad yeah. No. Tra- I think you can it's, call it maybe both. It's not but. popular enough to be translated into English then. No. Ah. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, we're working on it. We are, yeah. We'll spread so the word. we we spread the word. It's called Alpine Horn. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all outside. And then there's also things like uh, you can look at cars. Big there's trucks. loads of cars, massive trucks, like yeah. probably the biggest agriculture combine trucks. harvester thing yeah. to use in your farm that I've ever mm. seen. Anyway. Other expert words. Caravans, there's loads of food stalls. Um, and they have different arenas. There's one dedicated to um, wine. Wine. There's the wine <laughs> arena where you yeah. go wine tasting. Beer. There was an arena dedicated to traditions where we found it was also mostly dedicated to beer yeah. and there we could have, beer. have a little uh, sort of sample tray mm. of five. beer from Bern yeah. and it had a little pretzel hanging or on the end five, which was yeah. super nice yeah, yeah so. and inside there's exhibitions from like the EPFL which is the university yeah. in the Swiss Roman and from travel things um, computers you can buy and beds everything. there even beds yeah that's true. maybe like the most boring part our food was quite interesting as well cheese yeah loads of Swiss cheese uh, you can, you can milk around. a cow. <laughs> you can pretend to ride a bull. It's awesome. If you haven't been, you've got to go. It's yeah. really, really fun. Yeah, For kids fun. and grown-ups, yeah. you know, is it's really true, yeah. interesting. And yeah, they're outside, like you said, there's uh, this um, fairground. Yep, fairground rides. Uh, word learned. And um, yeah, you can do many of these things as well. Yeah, so, it's good. And in the evening or at night is a party. Party tent. It goes yeah. on till 3.30 yeah. in the morning. So, so yeah, there is really something from... It costs 17 francs for adults to get in. Kids under six go free. Uh, and they have various discounts for students and so on as well. There you go. It's all set, huh? Yeah, we should maybe just say um, it's at the Bern Expo. Yeah, it's in Bern, a little bit outside. So you take a tram to to, uh, be, uh, <clears throat> to to go there it's from the... Hauptbahnhof from the main, main station. station. Maybe it's 10, 15 minutes, yeah, something about 10 like minutes. that. Not very far. Mm. Good. Um, I would just like to say, you know, a few years ago when I came to Switzerland, we went for the first time. Yeah. And I was absolutely amazed by what was on offer there. Because mm. when I had seen it described, you know, in posters and newspapers and so on, I thought it sounds a bit... Boring. A bit boring. Yeah. But when I went, I was stunned. But yeah. obviously, as a Swiss person who's grown up here, you had been as a child, so you knew all about it. Yes, and also, I, it's it's a nice thing to go, but it's, I, I think you made me realize that there's so many traditions to be seen there, and that's why we wanted to talk about it today. Mm-hmm. Because I think you, you see a little bit more about, yeah, what, what we like and what we do and, and so on. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So then it's time for our... Swiss word. <laughs> now, let's see if you know this one. We've already dropped a few in this episode, but this is the main is one true. coming right, right. at you now. You are unprepared, but oh, I think you know the word. <laughs> it has something to do with um, this the Bea, and you can buy it there. It's called Zuckerwatte. I can translate. I, I know what it is. I can translate okay, it, the yep. words in English. Zucker means sugar. Mm-hmm. Watte means... Oh, I thought I could translate <laughs> it. Uh, it's supposed to be a clean episode. Okay. Uh, cotton. Cotton? Yes, exactly. Or, so sugar cotton. Yeah. What could that be? 
It's called candy floss. Yes. Yum. I got a big ball of that. There you that go. So, Zuckerwatte to be learned before you go to the bear so you can order it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, then that was it. Maybe we could just say one word about the Schwarze because that's where we're recording today. We can, yeah. It's a lake. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, a, it's quite a nice lake. It's a bit outside. Slightly hard to get here by public transport. It's from Bern in the direction of Fribourg and then a little bit into the direction of the Gantrisch, in case you have a map in front mm-hmm. of you. It's about a 50-minute so, drive. Yeah, it's, it's uh, from Bern. So it's not that easy to get there, but it's n- quite a nice lake with to it's, walk around it's good because it's, it's not uh, mega far you have the feeling of being in the mountains but without yeah, going on a huge yes. excursion there's a nice round circular walk which is um, wheelchair An and pram friendly it takes or something like yep. that I guess and there's different cafes there's a children's playground yep. you could swim in the in lake winter, in the summer you can ski there yeah, so right next to the lake it's a highly recommended place yeah, for a little day trip you should trip. go yeah but I would recommend to take a car I think it's quite difficult probably to, well yeah you can get here by by public transport, but by car is straightforward. Not yeah, it is, yeah. Right, so that's it for today. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye. Bye.